Hello and welcome. This is Dark Raven Zen. Welcome to episode 7 of Subnautica, season 2. Let's go ahead and jump right on into it. Caution. Dehydration detected. And we're back. We just got a warning that our we are dehydrated, so let's see. We have some salt, but we don't have any water, so let's see exactly where we're at. Captain. In this area is primarily storage area, so we need to change that out for the knife. We have some salt. Let's do this. some bleach. Make some water. And drink it. Vital signs stabilizing. Alright. Now let's see. What do we have on us? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Enough to make one multi room. We got one row bed. Welcome Turn aboard, the Captain. Off. Apparently the um, signals are a tiny bit messed up, so we're going to take them off and put them up. Let's go ahead and put these marble seeds up for the moment. Grab some more titanium. Might as well grab some lithium, a couple pieces. Um, let's go and see where we want to build a base. We do have a habitat builder, but it is not in our inventory. We kind of need that to be able to do what we want to do. So, take that. We're going to take a battery. that in there and we're definitely going to have to find a uh, and build the power cell charger so where do we want to build well a easy place you could say is near a uh, thermal vent. It's basically free uh, constant energy. That said though, there is an item that will allow for 
long uh, transmission of energy from places like this. Detected. So if we wanted to build off of here, it wouldn't take much to uh, to do so. Here's the deep is the Grand Reef and side areas. Which leads to the uh, one of the grassy plateau areas. I kind of wouldn't mind building near the blood kelp zone uh, simply for the fact it's fairly decently close to a lot and I do mean a lot of uh, oh, uh, you hear night crystals but there are approximately the same amount or uh, easiness to get to in the deep Grand Reef but I cannot get currently get to the deep Grand Reef the base down there I'll build one anyway so the closest I can get in my current state of technology and resources it's going to be over here somewhere. I think this will be a good spot. And I did build a base over here at one point, at one time, but I probably needed to uh, place it differently than I did once before on another map so what we're going to do is go catch some fish and cook that so if we know where we're going to build we need to go catch some fish eat and whatnot easy to do with the uh, propulsion cannon Emergency. Starvation imminent. Seek calorie intake immediately. That's how you catch fish.
Vital signs stabilizing. There we go. Do we have any extra copper? think so. So let's grab some right quick. Hopefully. Because I'd like to build a beacon for the base before I actually build the base. Some of this up. No room. Welcome aboard, Captain. And that is enough for us to make a beacon. Welcome aboard, Captain. I did not mean to hit that fish, the gas pod. There we go. Oh, pardon me. Back into this handy dandy sea mouth. And off we go. Probably asking me why am I building over here instead of say towards the inactive lava zone in the uh, front of the ship well over here is a lot less danger we're in the spot that I'm in or want to build in it's also fairly close to um, that so yeah 
That's my reasoning for building over here. So first things first, let's build a foundation. block out the grass. Let's add a T, I mean an X junction. And on this end, let's put a hotch. Now, on each end on this, I want a, T, a corridor. To help do any kind of seal offs that might, might need to be done. Grab some air. Let's see how much. Caution. Mild dehydration detected. Fluid intake recommended. That took care of most of our. Titanium, that there. I'm gonna put G R base. Yeah, let's pick up some of this here. fill out what we need. Pick up the salt as well. And we'll jump back into the seamoth. Back to our life pod. And while we're at our life pod, we'll pick up some uh, common coral to uh, make some water. Inventory is full. Okay. So let's put that away for the moment and that away. That too. We really could use some water. Emergency. Severe dehydration. Detected. Seek fluid intake immediately.
there's our water. Vital signs stabilizing. Need to go ahead and break down these uh, titanium pieces, or metal savage rather. Cell rather. So I do believe that is needed for the sea moth. It is getting awful low. So that up. Let's put this lead away. Definitely won't be needing it just yet. One of the reasons I have don't want to build right next to or on the mountain <clears throat> is since the update for Dangerous Creatures has gone live, there are warpers there and I'd rather not have to deal with warpers at my base at the moment. <clears throat> I don't have really any way of protecting myself. Alright, let's see. We want a large room. Right here. And I want to put reinforced right here. And right here. That's going to bring our room up a good bit, our strength. Um, on this line, I think I want to eventually make it the uh, one along this side. Or the go on to the moon pool. Now, let's see what can we make. Power. Exterior modules. We can make the heat. We can make a nuclear, which requires two ingots, three lead, and a lubricant. Welcome aboard, Captain. I'm thinking for the moment we're going to start off with just solar panels. So it'll give this some power so we can have some uh, energy production. So let's be kind of tricky um, 
we actually need more titanium and quartz to build that up so you know what let's do it this way let's go ahead and just make a get the stuff to make a bio gen generator Then I get us started, and then one, uh, while that is starting to power the base, we can do both thermal and nuclear. But this here will get us started with some power gen in our base. So what I'm going to do is I am going to, as, once we're done with the bioreactor, I am going to call this episode uh, done. And we'll see you, I'll do the outgoing here in a bit. So let's go ahead and make our biogenerator, get it ready to get made. So we need lubricant. But in the next episode, we are going to make the nuclear reactor as well as the thermal reactor. And most likely uh, get what we need to uh, bring the power from the thermal reactor over to the uh, base. So let's see here. Yep, we have what we need. So, all we'll end up having to do now, or to get power once we get this made, is to either feed it some fish or uh, plant life, what have you. And yeah, the currently I think the best fuel for the bioreactor is actually uh, sea treader poo but getting that in a constant rate without killing yourself is going to be fun might be a bit on the dangerous side but yeah this side over here is most likely going to be our power tower as I like to call it so Warning, emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. Caution, dehydration detected. discovered. should be more than enough 
to uh, get this started. On fish. Power restored. All primary systems online. Alright, let's get back to base. Well, our life pod base. Get some stuff to, uh, some air sacs to build, make us some, uh, Water. Because mine does water go fast suddenly. Emergency. Severe dehydration. Detected. Seek fluid intake immediately. Vital signs stabilizing. There we go. Thanks for joining me on this episode. If you'd like to see more episodes like this and uh, when I live stream, please uh, subscribe. Leave me a comment button down below. Let me know which how you thought of this episode. How you think? How you like this series? And if you were excited or not for the story mode to start coming out. Uh, again, everybody have a good day.